Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanted to share with you what I like to do at the end of each year, which is just a audit of what we need to get rid of in our house, going through about six categories that I feel make up most people's homes. The six categories that I've come up with are seasonal decor because we're coming towards the end of the year and you've pretty much done all your decorating you're gonna do through the year besides maybe Christmas. Um, so that's a good time to kind of reevaluate what you use and what you maybe no longer want to keep. This is the second year in a row that we haven't used it. I'm gonna get rid of this. We didn't use it this year. These I did not use this year. The other category is my kitchen. I'm always evaluating this place, but I just like to go through and see if there's any appliances we didn't use the whole year or something maybe that we have a duplicate of. Clothing is always a huge thing to audit. It takes a lot of time and effort, but I do find that usually by the end of the year, I can pinpoint quite a few items that either I didn't wear or are completely worn out. Toys are a category that I am always looking through to see what the children have possibly grown out of or maybe a toy that isn't used that we can donate to another child or to the Goodwill. Here we have the two organized bins. The bathroom is always a good place to look through, especially at the end of the year, to see if there's anything that is expired or items that you just don't use. Um, for instance, I'm not a very big robe person and I decided I'm going to donate a robe that I just have not worn in over a year. And the last category is the garage and any closets you might have. So. That's always a good place to visit at the end of the year and just see if there are things that had been thrown in there that maybe could be donated or are trash or broken, not being used. So especially the garage for us, that's a place where people just tend, people, me and my husband tend to just throw things on a shelf and never think about it again. Let me show you a few items that I have found recently just going through our house. These are things that really stood out to me but I do need to go through uh, each area and spend a little bit more time, but let me show you what I found so far. This drill was given to me from my mom and it's a pretty cheap drill, but we've had it for years and now it's no longer working. The battery just doesn't charge, it doesn't hold a charge, and there's no point in keeping this. My husband being a carpenter really puts a lot of wear and tear on clothes, so here's some pants, an example, they're holy. The pockets have holes in them. He can't be showing up to work wearing clothes that are this ratty. Um, and I have tried patching clothes in the past for him specifically and it just doesn't work. The holes just rip right through again and I think it's because it's a thin material to start with. A great end of the year audit is shoes. I recently got some new winter shoes and I went through some of my shoes and I these stood out to me. I had set these aside at the end of summer and that was because every time I tried to wear these, I got blisters and I don't know why because I've had these for years and I always loved wearing these, um, but something must have changed with my feet and I just can't wear them anymore. So they're still in okay condition, so I'm going to donate these. Here are three pairs of board shorts that are my husband's and he just realized that he hasn't worn these in years and these ended up being see-through of all things. Why would they make see-through board shorts? But anyhow, so um, we are gonna donate these. They're still in good condition and maybe someone can make use of these, but he just found they weren't his styles. Here's the robe that I discussed earlier. And again, I'm just not a robe person. I haven't worn this probably in a few years and I didn't even realize it was in my bathroom until I started digging through. So that's another thing. If you do an end of the year audit, you will most likely find things that you didn't even know you had because they were pushed to the back and that is what happened with this item. So I'm going to be donating this. And in my quick kitchen audit, I realized I have two of these um, strainer spoons, so I'm going to donate this one. Question of the day, do you do a home audit at the end of the year or something throughout the year to help reduce the amount of clutter? So we're nearing the end of this year and I just feel that 
this audit at the end of the year really helps my family stay more minimal and just helps me realize that there are things that I can still get rid of, especially because I know there will be new things coming in with Christmas coming. Even though we are not gonna be buying much, I will be getting the kids a few toys and uh, I know my mom and dad usually get us a few things, so there will be a few items coming in, so I wanna make sure that I am getting rid of things that we aren't using anymore and aren't serving us in any way. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having an amazing day, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here and tap the bell to never miss a video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.